Iran's top paramilitary force claimed responsibility for a missile attack early Sunday that slammed into northern Iraq, sending U.S. troops rushing for shelter, shattering windows and creating new complications for diplomatic efforts to ease tensions with Tehran. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps issued a statement through its official Safa news site saying that it carried out a missile attack in response to recent Israeli actions in the region, which included an airstrike last week in Syria that killed two of the Iranian paramilitary group's commanders. Kurdish officials said that at least 12 ballistic missiles hit the area creating powerful blasts that damaged a local television station and a palatial compound identified as the home of a major Kurdish businessman. The Iranian group said it carried out a missile attack on what it claimed were compounds used by Israeli spies operating in Iraq. Israeli officials declined to comment. America Iraq and other nations condemned the missile strike as a destabilizing act as the Israeli military stepped up its defenses and U.S. officials considered how to respond. Iran has been repeatedly targeting the Kurdistan region and the silence from the international community is of great concern, said the regional government. This silence from the international community is motivating for more future attacks. Last week, Israel stepped up its military defenses after Iran threatened to retaliate for the killing of two Iranian military officials helping Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. The two were killed in an apparent Israeli airstrike in Syria, where Israel has carried out hundreds of attacks designed to blunt Iran's military influence across the region. Sunday's attack is likely to create more regional resistance to American efforts to strike a new nuclear containment deal with Iran. The U.S. and Iran have paused negotiations, high-stakes talks aimed at reviving a 2015 agreement with Tehran that put constraints on Iran's nuclear program in exchange for sanctions relief.